Genius 3 has supported Docker containers since version 1.5. Docker containers have various advantages over QMU and other virtualization platforms such as VMware Workstation or VirtualBox. They essentially consume much less RAM and CPU resources when compared to traditional virtualization platforms. Have a look at my series of videos where I discuss Docker containers, Open vSwitch, Open Daylight, and other emerging technologies if you want to have an overview of what Docker is. I've linked to that series of videos below this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Docker container to GNS3 when it's not available in the GNS3 marketplace. So let's say you create your own Docker container or you've come across a Docker container that you want to add to GNS3. It's not available in the GNS3 marketplace, but you'd like to add it to your GNS3 projects. So how do you do that? That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So here's an example. Turnkey Linux provide various pre-built Linux virtual machines, ISOs, VMDKs, and now Docker containers that you can deploy. These are pre-built Linux virtual machines or Docker containers that allow you very quickly to spin up a service such as WordPress or a Joomla server or a file server or an open VPN server, a domain controller and other options. Basically, rather than having to download and then install a Linux operating system and then install and configure the application on the Linux operating system, these are pre-built virtual machines or Docker containers. So here's one for WordPress. And when I click on the Docker link, I'm shown the public repository for the turnkey WordPress Docker container. Now this specific Docker container has been made available in the GNS3 marketplace, but let's assume for the moment that it wasn't. How would you add a new Docker container to your GNS3 topology when it's not available in the GNS3 marketplace. That's what I'm gonna demonstrate in this video. So going back, I could download an OVA, which is now downloading to my local computer, which I could then import into GNS3. But rather than doing that, I can simply do a Docker pull and add the Docker container to GNS3. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.0 on a Mac. The process, however, is very similar on Windows. So to import the Docker container, go to GNS3 Preferences. Go to Docker. Under the Docker heading, we have Docker containers. And here are some Docker containers that I've already got installed. But in this example, I'm gonna click New to import a new Docker container. I'm gonna run this Docker VM on the GNS3 VM and click Next. Now I could use an existing image, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to do a pull from Docker. So this is the public repository that I copied, and I'm simply gonna paste it in as the image name and click Next. How many network adapters does my Docker container require? I'm only gonna add one and click Next. Now you can specify a start command, the default command will be used if you leave this field empty. I'm gonna do that and click Next. Now you need to specify the console type. Choosing VNC for your container will run a VNC server listening on a port between this number and this number. In my example, I'm gonna use Telnet and click Next. Now we're told that these variables will be passed to the container. Please read the container documentation to find out what variables are used. Now in the documentation, we told that we can configure environment variables that will be accessible within the container. A lot of Docker containers use this information for configuration. So we could say something like hello equals world. In my example, I'm not going to configure that. I'm simply gonna click finish and I'm gonna click okay. So under hosts, I now have a turnkey Linux WordPress Docker container available. And I can drag it to the workspace. And notice what happens. Genius3 does a pull from Docker and automatically downloads 
the Docker container image. So we see it saying pulling image turnkey Linux WordPress 14.2. And at this point, you simply need to wait for the Docker container to be pulled. So wait for the process to complete. Okay, so that's now been done. I've successfully pulled the turnkey Linux WordPress Docker container from Docker. So that's the process of installing a Docker container into GNS3. Now for this specific Docker container, additional configuration is required. So what I'm gonna do is drag an ethernet switch onto the GNS3 workspace, and I'm gonna run it on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna bring a NAT cloud into the topology. I'm only gonna use that as a DHCP server. I'll bring a Firefox PC into the topology because I wanna use a browser to access the WordPress server and I'll bring an Ubuntu PC into the topology. I'm gonna to use the Ubuntu PC to SSH and configure the WordPress server. So I'll connect the devices to the layer two switch and connect the switch to the NAT cloud. Now in this example, I'm gonna edit the Ubuntu host to use DHCP but I'm not gonna do that for the WordPress device. Some users of GNS3, especially on Windows, have had problems editing the network configuration in this manner. So I'll show you an alternate way of doing that. Okay, so now I can start up the GNS3 topology and open up a console to the devices. The turnkey Linux server is booting up and making a number of changes. So you can see that it's initializing, creating SSH keys. This depends on the Docker container that you're using. So here's my Ubuntu container. ifconfig shows that the Ubuntu device has been allocated this IP address. The WordPress Docker container, however, doesn't have an IP address, so I'll edit Etsy network interfaces, and I'll remove these lines to uncomment auto eth0, iface eth0, inet dhep, and I'll save the file. And then I'll say service networking restart to restart the networking service. You can see that the device has received an IP address, and to confirm that, ifconfig shows us the IP address of the WordPress Docker container. So on this Docker container, I'm gonna set a password of GNS3. And what I can do now is SSH to the WordPress server. Log in with my password. And notice we are prompted with this information. So on the turnkey Linux Docker container, I have to do this initial configuration. So I need to set a password. I'm simply gonna set this to GNS3 password. You need to do this configuration on the specific Docker container to get WordPress running. I'm not going to initialize hub services or receive critical alerts, and I'm not gonna install security updates. So I'm now told that the WordPress server is available on this IP address. So in Firefox, I'm gonna open up a browser and browse to 192.168. 122, 196. And as you can see here, we've now got a turnkey Linux WordPress site displayed. So I could quit out of this SSH session and go back to my Ubuntu server. So that was an example of how to add a bespoke or a new Docker container to GNS3 without using the GNS3 marketplace. I was able to do a pull to pull the Docker container from Docker 
add it to my GNS3 topology and then use it in my GNS3 network like any other device. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.